So I just want to take a little bit of time to talk a little bit about why we don't need anything. And I think this is a really important topic because society and the media, I guess, and companies, you know, people who want to sell you things, want you to think that you need you need their service. You need the thing that they're trying to give you. Um, and um, to a certain extent, that's how everybody survives. Everybody offers somebody something and that's how society works. It's a trade of services and goods. Um, some And there's more, which I won't get into here. Uh, society is complex and there's all kinds of issues there. Uh, but the whole idea is that you don't really need anything. And, you know, you just need, you need shelter, you need food, you need water, and uh, you need, you need, um, you know, humans are an emotional, are emotional creature, so we need, we need friends, we need people that uh, we can connect with, people that understand us, and we, I guess we need, uh, I guess you could say love. Uh, what's that? What's love? I, I couldn't, I can't tell you, can't tell you, I'm not sure, but, <laughs> but uh, we definitely need, uh, um, uh, you know, we need to stay warm. So there's there's some basic fundamental things we need we need to feel emotionally safe we need emotions th things that relate to our emotional well being and we need um, some amount of comfort in terms of being able to stay warm or or to stay cool and things like this um, you know if we get hurt we need we need to be able to make sure that we can get help with that you know you get you get hit by a car you can go to the hospital and fix up yourself or somebody can help you with that and things like this so you know we're kind of um, st out here in the elements if you will in, in terms of existence and so uh, getting taking care of all of these needs is is really helpful and useful and we definitely need to take care of those things however basically we don't really need a lot so at the very very super fundamental level we we don't really need a lot of stuff and so for example somebody's trying to sell me this cup i do like this cup i do like this cup quite a bit uh, somebody's trying to sell me this cup i don't really need this cup but i guess i need at least one thing that i can drink out of uh, and I, you know, I need something to carry my water and things like this. So we, you know, there's some serious need for tools and things like this. Um, but uh, for the most part, there's a lot of stuff that people get, like, you know, the BS food people eat or uh, the um, movie, movies, things, you know, music and things like this. We don't need this stuff. Though I think art, to some extent, has a very positive effect on people. Um, the basic idea is you have to understand that you don't really need this stuff. And though it can be helpful, such as having this cup that I can drink out of and, you know, having a, a movie I can watch to take my mind off of the craziness of the world for just a moment, uh, although those things are really nice, you don't actually need them. And so what really this, this way of thinking does for you is that it'll, it frees you up to sort of relax and not worry because... Uh, having these things is a huge stress and burden on the human psyche because you don't want to lose it. You want to keep these things going. Let the good times roll. You, you, you want that, that sort of experience. So um, it's, it can be really difficult if you don't have the particular mindset that, well, I don't really need this stuff. Um, you, you want to be as independent as you can because that fear of losing things can make it difficult to progress through life and to do the things that you want to do. You're afraid of losing your job because then you can't get the things that you need. If you, if you realize that you don't need stuff, then you can actually do what you want to do and what you mean to do in the world. So you can go out and you can be courageous. You can do the things that you mean to do that you want to do because you're not tied and controlled by um, the, the objective things of the, of the world. You're not afraid of losing uh, what you have. And you're, you know, there's nothing that anybody can take for you, from you. You have nothing to lose. You know, uh, I had my computer break recently, uh, the battery. Uh, I, I had an accident and the battery uh, uh, died and I thought the computer was totally doomed. But I was able to save it. And I mean, at that time, I was a little bit emotional. Oh, man, I've messed my laptop up. Man, that's a, that's a dumb move there, logic. But, you know, this kind of stuff happens. And um, you, you just kind of move, move on. It's okay. 
it's not really a big deal. And you just overcome and you do your best and just realize, well, I don't really need this computer. It's okay that it's gone. And, you know, I, I picked myself up another used computer that works great and that's, and that's fine. And you know, let's say I couldn't get a computer. I'd just find somewhere I can go to use a computer and, and it would all work out. And it can be a little bit difficult, which means I'm not meeting all my emotional needs. I'm having to go, you know, all the way to the library or something to use a computer. And that can be a sort of a burden on, on a person. But there's no reason to be afraid. Uh, have things, use things, um, enjoy things, but you don't really need them. So don't let them control you emotionally. Don't burden yourself with have feeling like you have to have these things or or that you need to keep these things and using that as your emotional support the most important thing in life in my opinion is just being able to connect with people so making this video and having people in the comments tell me what they think or you know talking to my significant other and then hearing what what she thinks and being able to interact in that way those are really important uh uh, things uh, having you know this is something to be very difficult for people to own parents having parents that you can talk to and interact with and share your ideas with and people to support you these are all things that are very helpful a lot of people lack and those are definitely things that we need and then cultivating those relationships can be very difficult so we certainly have some emotional needs and some very basic physical needs but a lot of this excess a lot of this other stuff we don't necessarily need and realizing that it can have a huge uh, positive effect on you emotionally. And so really consider that. I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that you guys consider these ways of thinking. It's something that's extremely useful for me. I use this way of thinking all the time to help me through a lot of situations. And it's very, it, uh, it lists a lot of weight. It lists a lot of weight, so consider it. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and sub and all that stuff and show me your support. And uh, don't be afraid to share the video if you know anybody who would um, benefit from watching this. So, all right. Thank you, guys. And I'll talk to you next time.